Hi, welcome to today's STATA module for the Research Support Center with the College of Family, Home and Social Sciences at Brigham Young University. Today's module will be covering merging data sets that are hierarchical. This means data sets that have single level or individual level data and have group level or second level data. Let's go ahead and get started by opening a do file. Let's title our file here with a comment and say this file explores merging hierarchical data Now, for those of you familiar with the merge command already, this is very similar to merging data on a single level. Let's go ahead and leave ourselves a place for notes and end that comment. Again, I'm going to start my do file with a clear all command. If you have been using Stata previously, the clear all command simply allows us to start with a blank slate, erasing all macros and data that was currently in the memory. The data is still so stored on your hard drive, it just cleared out of Stata's memory. Let's also start by specifying the directory we want to be in with the cd command. I'm going to go ahead and open up a file here, and I'm going to place everything here in my downloads folder. You can place it wherever you would like, on your hard drive or on a local network. Again, I'm just going to place it for convenience in my downloads folder. Once you've reached the, the folder that you would like to save all of these files in, go ahead and right click on the address bar up here at the top click copy address and once you've done that you can close this window and come over here to your your change directory command and in double quotes encapsulate what you just copied I used control V as a keyboard shortcut you could right click and paste which would do the exact same thing once we've done that we need to start today by bringing in a number of different data sets from Stata's online repository to do so, we're going to use the web use command. And the first data set we're going to bring in is called sforce. The second data set that we're going to be using today is the dollars data set. We'll go ahead and specify the clear option on that. One thing that we need to do with these two data sets is we need to save them to our local drives. So for me, I'm going to save mine in my downloads folder like I've specified up here and to do so I'm simply going to use the save command I'm going to call it sforce and specify the replace option the replace option here simply allows Stata to replace the data set sforce if it already has been saved before this is the same as if you were working with a word document or any other file and hit the save button up here and it overwrote or wrote on top of your previous edition of that file. This in Stata is that exact same command, otherwise Stata will stop and give you an error saying that sforce already exists. Let's go ahead and do the same thing here with dollars, if I can spell that properly. Dollars, and I will use the replace option one more time. Now let's go ahead and bring these in one at a time. I'm going to specify these first four commands by selecting them and clicking execute or do up here you can see that Stata has executed those commands successfully and there's no red and they all have been done properly let's go ahead and visually inspect our data here by using the browse command I'm gonna use the command line and the keyboard shortcut for browse which is BR you can also access it by clicking this button up here but I'm just gonna use the command line and BR as you can see what we have here for S force, which appears to be a Salesforce data set. You have a region of each Salesforce, and then you have sales representatives in each one of those regions. Let's go ahead and take a look at our dollar uh, data set here. So we can go ahead and bring that in, run that in Stata, and you can see that it has come in successfully. And let's browse that data set very quickly. You can see here that again we have the region variable, but this time instead of name we have sales and cost. So obviously these data sets have a single common variable which was region, 
and then they have a sales variable, a cost variable, and the other data set, S-Force, had the names variable. Let's go ahead and close our browse window. Now, we want to bring these data sets in to be a common or a unified data set. To do so, we're going to use the merge command because they have similar observations on the region variable, yet they have different variables in their data sets. Now, with single level merging, we would have specified a one-to-one -one option, and then we would say region as our ID variable, which in our case it is the region variable. Then we'd say using, I guess we should f first start out here by saying use S-Force. Now we can specify our using of dollars. And we can go ahead and try and run that. Um, as a warning, this will not work. And that's the reason we're, we're doing this, is to show you the hierarchical nature of these data sets and how to do that in Stata. This one-to-one -one is a single level command for merging. As you can see, Stata has given us an error. It has said variable region does not uniquely identify observations in the master data set. So let's go ahead and dissect that um, comment that state has given back to us. It says variable region, which is our ID variable here, does not uniquely identify observations in the master data. Our master data is S-Force, because it was the data set that we would brought into Stata prior to the merge command. Our using data set is the data set that follows our using uh, portion of the syntax here, so it's the dollars data set. So interpreting this, this error that state has given us, we can understand that the variable region has multiple values or duplicate values in the region variable. So let's go ahead and look at that and see what Stata is talking about. And this is exactly what I'm saying is Stata has north central, northeast, northeast, south, 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 west, 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 west. And so you can see that there are duplicates. There are not unique observations or unique values in our region variable. So this is where the hierarchical nature of our merge begins. We have individual level data, which is our S-Force, with our individual names of sales representatives in each region. And we want to merge them with regional data on the total region's sales and costs. So to specify that, because our master data set, or this S-Force data set, has multiple um, versions of the same value in our ID variable, region, we're going to specify an M for many, meaning that there are many observations with the same value in region on our master data set, which is S-Force. Now, if we run the merge command, you can see that Stata has successfully merged the two data sets and given us this output. As you can see, we did not match any observation, or we had zero non-matches, and we had 12 exact matches. Let's go ahead and browse our data set to take a look at to what happened. So what we have here is we have our S4 data set, and then our dollars data set has multiplied the same observation three times for each north central, twice for each northeast region, four times for each south region, and three times for each west region. So the many to one option allowed us to bring individual level data, which was this name portion, and merge it with regional or group level data being the regional sales and costs. Let's go ahead and do this in the reverse option as well to show you how the many to one and the one to many option can be used. To do that, let's go ahead and start with our S or our dollars data set. And then our merge command in this case is going to be one to many. On region, same ID variable, using this time our S force data set. So as you can see, I've simply switched these two data sets. In this first one, we started with our S-Force, or our individual level data. 
and we merged using the dollars data set, which was our regional data. In this second option, we're starting with the regional data and we're moving towards the individual level data or merging it in using S-Force. Now the difference between these two commands is right here in the many to one and the one to many. As you can see, the many option always stays on the side of the colon on which the data set in which there are many, many values or replicate values in the ID variable exists. So in our case, the S-Force data set is the one with duplicate values on the region variable. And so our many is on the right side of our colon. In this first option, the S-Force variable was already in memory, and hence it is on the left side of our colon. Let's go ahead and run that command. And you can see here in Stata, we actually get the exact same output no matter which way we merged. If it was from individual level data adding group level data, or if it was from group level data adding individual level data, both options work. We just had to reverse our many to one or our one to many in this option. To show you visually that it has worked, let's go ahead and type BR into the command line and enter. And you can see here that our data set is the exact same with this exception that this isn't as neat as it had been before. But we can change that by typing in sort region into our command line. And you can now see that our data looks much nicer and looks the exact same as the previous version that we'd done before. OK, now that we have combined our data set, let's go ahead and save this as all data, specifying our replace option so we can run it again if we'd like. And now we're going to tear this data set apart. All right. We want to write out, in this case, the individual level data. For this example, we're going to use another data set from Stata, uh, from their online repository. So let's go ahead and start that. So we're going to get our um, get and sort the multi-level data. To do so, we're going to use the web use command. And actually, this is on UCLA's website. I apologize. So props to our UCLA friends and the massive work they've done. We're going to pull a data set off of their website using the use command. And we're going to simply type in HTTP colon forward slash forward slash www.ats.ucla.edu forward slash stat forward slash HLM forward slash FAQ forward slash HSBALL. Now let's go ahead and specify the clear option for our use command. It's still in green, but Stata will recognize that it's there. Um, and let's sort this data set once it's in on ID. So let's go ahead and select those two lines of code. Actually, let's select all the way up to save, because we haven't saved that data set yet. And we can run it. As you can see, we have been able to bring in our data set from UCLA's website. Again, we thank them for their hard and diligent work putting together great resources for everyone. Let's go ahead and take a look at our data really quick. You're going to see that we have 7,185 observations on 11 variables. Our ID variable, you can see for individual 1224, he has quite a few, he or she has quite a few observations, all the way down to 47 observations. Now, we don't know what this ID is. It could be a community or it could be an individual. And what it appears to be, given that the female variable changes, is it appears to be an ID for a community or a city. Uh, with different individuals responding in each case. Now, as I said, what we want to do here is we want to write out individual level data from this multi-level data set. Let's go ahead and leave a note for ourselves telling us that that is what we're doing. And to do so, let's start with the preserve command. And then we're going to keep ID minority 
female, SES, and their math achievement. Now if we specify the codebook command, we'll, we'll use the compact option in this case to save some space in our output window, and then restore. What will happen is we'll preserve the full data set that's here, then we will drop all the variables except ID, minority, female, SES, and math achievement. We then ask data for a codebook of those variables left in the data set. And then, oh, we need to save that data set. Let's save it as level one, specifying the replace option. And then we will restore our full, our full data set to Stata. So if we run that command, or those commands in Stata, you can see that the data was preserved. We kept all of those variables. We did a code book, and in the compact version, it's very nice and neat. Saved that file, and then restored the original data set so we have all 11 variables back. So now, let's go ahead and write out the school level uh, data here. To do so, this is a little bit different than the single level data. In this, we will be using the collapse command. And we're going to be collapsing, asking for a mean, or in other language, an average, of, the, of these following variables. We want mean SES, or mean socioeconomic status, the size, the sector, the PRACAD, the DISCLIM, and the HMI. M N T Y. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use the by option. We're going to say by ID. The by option here collapses by ID, meaning that it will take the average of all of these variables by the ID variable, which identifies a school. Once we've done that, we want to save that data as level two. Again, specifying a replace option. And we can ask for a code book, again with a compact option, and then we can simply look at our data set here. We can see that I made a mis mistake in spelling, so for sector, I need to have that properly spelled, and we can select that those three lines again, run them, and you can see that now that I've spelled sector properly, they have run just fine. And you can see there's 160 observations, meaning there are 160 schools. And you can see the means of each one that goes on. This type of a command can be very useful when you have schools, as we had in our case, when you have communities, or even when you have individuals over time. Lots of longitudinal data sets or panel data sets come with individuals that are measured at different time points. And, in some cases, it is very useful to know what their average score for a given uh, variable or a given question is over time. This command, the collapse command, allows you to do that, and we hope that you will explore the other options that it has with it. Uh, we hope today's state of module has been useful for you in merging multi-level or hierarchical data sets and also collapsing them to individual and second levels. Thank you and come and visit us again.